These days, most hosts provide one of the two browser-based options explained in the previous videos. If, however, you have to access your account using a command line, then here's what you need to do to create a database. Start by choosing a database name, a username, and a user password. For the purposes of this lesson, I'll use as my database name, video demo, as my username, demo, and then as the user password, demo12345. When it's your turn, please use a more secure password. Now, log in to your command line using the details provided by your host. Type MySQL and enter. You'll now see the MySQL prompt. Start by creating a database. You type create space database space and then the name of your database. In my case, video demo and then a semicolon and enter. And that's it, the database has been created. Then create a user and assign them with privileges. And we do that by typing grant space all on the name of your database, video demo in my case, dot asterisk two, and then your username. Now my username is going to be demo at open inverted commas percent sign closed inverted commas space identified space by space and open inverted commas and the password demo 12345 closed inverted commas semicolon and enter and what that command has just done is grant all privileges on the video demo database to a user called demo at any host identified by the demo password. And that's it. Your database is set up and the user's ready. And now you're ready to move to the next video where I'll show you the rest of the Joomla setup.